Are we live again? Guess so. <laughs> and we're back, 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 back again. You know that song? Why are you so Lainey's happy? Lainey's back, back, back. <laughs> tell your friends. No, seriously, tell your friends we need us to be sharing again. So what just we're happened, back. Dee? Let's just, let's just say it like how it is. Why do we have to be fake about okay, it? Be so real. This is the second week in a row <laughs> that we've had technical difficulties. So here's the thing, guys. We did this whole live stream. It was so it good. It was so and good. People tuned, tuned in. in. Please tune in again. I hope you guys come back. It's okay if they don't. That's everyone, fine. everyone was there. It was amazing. It was a and party. It was amazing. But Facebook did not save the video. And the perfectionist that we are, we're doing this again. We just need that video. Because it was so good. We can't have a missing episode. No, because people are waiting and watching for us. So whether people are tuning in or not, we're still going to upload this. We're going to redo the whole show. So if you've seen this already, I mean, you're going to see it again. But you, you would have probably again. watched it again anyway. So we're just doing it live for you guys. We're literally just doing it live for you guys. So I don't know if anyone's tuned in. We keep watching the screen that we have to a monitor like with all the comments. So if we don't look at the camera, apologies. By the way, this is Fashionably Latte. What's your name? We never even introduced ourselves last time. Okay. Oh, oh Clinette. We have a fan. Oh, my God. We clearly have Tune a school fan. Tune in. Fan. Okay. This is Fashion Be Latte. I'm Deanna. I'm Lainey. Fashion Be Latte is kind of the first show of its kind. It's live on Facebook about all of, like, fashion, millennial trends that we're going to talk about and give our opinion on. Basically, we just wanted to have a show that we can just talk for, like, 15 minutes each week. Because that's so. what we do all day. And now we're doing it twice. So, yeah. twice in one day. That's pretty good. Do you want to tell the... Very okay. few viewers. What okay, they well, do. if there's anyone watching right now, please tell us where you're from because we'd love to talk to you as this is going. If not, watch it later and tell us where you're tuning in from. And I'm going to be really unprofessional here. Okay. As I'm telling you guys to share this episode, I'm going to do so myself. Okay, so share this episode because we really want world domination to happen, and that's only going to happen if you guys share this going. So why don't I start off while you're sharing? Yeah. While I'm sharing, she's basically going to start by, this episode is all going to be about the Oscars. We're going to oh, talk about our three favorite, not favorite, Just most, three looks from the Oscars that we thought were really interesting. Like most iconic looks from the Oscars. So basically, are you sharing? You do that, girl. I'm going to share. You do you while I'll do this. Um, so basically, I'm super excited every year for the Oscars because I feel like it's like the greatest fashion moment of the year and like everyone's building up to it. But I felt like this year it was kind of boring and like people were basic. That's what I thought too. And not only is the ceremony five hours long. Which she was like falling asleep halfway through. You know, for people like me who aren't like super bougie about movies, etc. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. You you look forward to watching everyone's looks. And I think if you're going to be basic, you're not making it worth my time. Even though you look beautiful, that's great for you and for your Instagram and for your <laughs> press. But for my, for me... Like, we need you to be extra. We, we need you to be extra. And you weren't. Except we both agreed someone did bring a little bit of the extra there was some, some other people were extra, but it was not cute. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. Um. So the first one that we actually really love was Nicole Kidman. Shout out to the girl. Now, so last week we had some technical difficulties with the screen up here and you couldn't see our photos. So nope. we decided to go to Kinko's and print these out this week, which we still can't really see, but you can see it. Do you see this blue look? This is one that she did before. This is the blue look she did. Um, There's two pictures there because I yes. did want to show the progression of Nicole Kidman, which her first Oscars was very Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Vibes. Like gold Statue of Liberty. And now she's like ice queen, structured dress with a bow, amazing hair, amazing makeup, amazing everything. Just a whole, like an all-round improvement. I love it. Basically, I thought like I've loved all of her looks every year. She's beautiful. She's amazing, all that stuff. But in this past year, I don't know if she got a different stylist or whatever, but um, she's just been killing it. Like literally, she's had my favorite look for every award show and every event she's been to in the past year. Yes. So I always think she's killing it, even though... Thank oh, you, Peggy. Peg. It looks great. She loves the blue. Oh, I love that people are still <laughs> tuning in. So anyway. So we love Nicole Kim and she is our best dress. And of I this love year's that, Oscars. you know, she did a structured dress, but she had she had very sleek hair. Yeah. It looked very thick, so I'm not sure it's all her. But you know what? <laughs> guess that guess what Nicole it's cool. Kim and I have in common. Fake hair. Fake hair. <laughs> but okay. you know what? Whatever. Talk about the next one. So the next look that we both thought would be a very important to mention so tiffany haddish there are three versions of her in the same dress and there is a reason for that the oscars version is actually this one that i'm pointing at with the very improved hairstyle in comparison <laughs> to the other looks so tiffany haddish did what some people call a three-peat so three-peat is when three you peat. wear that's her word that's like nightmare. my t literally i cannot even think about this so you wear that dress three times yeah and there's a reason for it so she's 
an actress from the film Girls Trip, which okay. is a hilarious movie. My favorite movie ever. I didn't get to really watch the end of it, but on the way back from London, we were um, it had it on as an option on the plane, so I was watching it, and I'm like, dude, this girl is so freaking funny, and only her, only she can do this. Three P. I mean, I think I hope that this becomes a trend so that many people can do this, and here's why: because so, she wants to just wear her clothes multiple times. That's not actually why. The reason. <laughs> Get no, the why? Why? Straight. Sorry, tell him. I, I'm trying to give people I know, real information. I keep, I keep interrupting here. you. Love a bit of Lainey in my life. But anyway, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. So for the premiere of her movie Girls Trip, no one would dress her because she was an up and coming actress. Like you know, she was struggling to find sponsors, someone to dress her, whatever. So what she decided to do was to go and do a bit of a splurge and buy herself a four thousand dollar dress, which she thought, if I'm gonna invest. I'm going to wear the S out of it, which I thought, smart move. Smart move, girl. Respect. Not so she fact. wore it for the Girls Trip premiere, which is this one. She also wore it for her SNL hosting and then for the Oscars. For the so I know Oscars. That is totally doing it up. I know it is literally your biggest nightmare. Terrified. But I think we could, especially you, learn something from Tiffany. It doesn't make you a social outcast to wear the same outfit a few times and no, be it seen in it. Especially not if it's $4,000. <laughs> wear it up, girl. Wear it up. Mad respect. I love you. You're like my spirit animal. Um, last but not least, the third look that we thought we had to talk about was Adam Rippon. I think that's how you say his name. He's Con a figure skater. Controversial. Okay, so basically, if you can see, he's wearing a suit and then it has a harness on it. Um, so I'm all about the avant-garde and doing something different at the Oscars. As I said, no one does anything at the Oscars that's different this year. But um, I don't know how I feel about this. How do you feel, Dee? Um, so, sorry, I was just focusing on the comments here. I love that people are loving the backstory on some of the outfits that we're featuring. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks, but, Anne. Thanks, Anne. So, anyway, I am split. Like, I don't know. We were both, like, undecisive about how we felt about Adam's look. I have no idea how I feel about this look because... Here's the thing. He is wearing a tuxedo. Yeah, so, so he's doing he's it. He's not, like, inappropriate. Like, I thought Emma Stone was inappropriate. Like, what was she wearing? PJs? No. No offense, but no. He's appropriate. He's wearing a tuxedo. He's wearing a bow tie. But he's wearing a harness. This is not Halloween. This is the Oscars, people. I know. It's very, like, Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know. So... I'm going to mention this again. I know we mentioned in the last show, but you know what? We're re-recording this, so whatever. My good friend Casey Montoya was on my podcast yesterday. P.S. Oh, my podcast is called... Oh, you know what? Who cares? My podcast is called You Can't Sit With Me. I had Casey Montoya. Casey yeah. L.A. host is my guest. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really fast now. So, <laughs> so she was on my podcast and she was saying there won't be Olympics next year. So because he's an Olympian, yeah. you know, he needs, needs to be to talked about. relevant. And so that's why you wear the harness? Yeah, because nowadays, if you want to stay relevant, you've got to be kinky. <laughs> that's like the rules of being relevant. You can ask the Kardashians. Oh, shit. Okay, so last. Okay, no, now we're going to the next subject. My favorite segment ever because I am the biggest stalker in the whole entire world. So this is called the social media yay and nay. So we did Oscars edition for this week. So should I start off with the yay? Yeah, I think you should start with the A. Because I'm the positive one here. Yeah. So, um, my, again, my spirit animal, Tiffany, she um, had a moment at the Oscars where she was doing her interviews, being all her. She sees Meryl Streep and she literally crosses the line, like hops over people to go say hi to Meryl Streep, which, again, I'm down with. Shout out to Tiffany. Mad respect. If you do love you someone, know? run around the world and go chase after them. Do you know why this is her favorite story? Her Why? favorite thing. Why? Because she does the same thing. She is the crazy girl that jumps on celebrities and goes on a monologue spree and fangirls and won't stop talking. When we met Hillary Duff. It's Hillary Duff! It's Lizzie yeah, McGuire! That's what she was doing, and I was like, Lainey, we're gonna go home now. And I'm like, no, step no, but Hillary, away I from love the you. celebrity. <laughs> Step away. And she's like, no, but you don't get it. Like, it was so funny. Okay, but so Tiffany pretty much did the same thing to Meryl. Meryl thought she was nuts, but you know what? My respect to Tiffany. But in all fairness, everyone thinks Tiffany's nuts, but everyone loves her. I wonder if Meryl knew who she was. Do you think she did? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think she's like, who's so. this crazy girl wearing a three-peat outfit? Honestly, yeah, well, she probably doesn't know about the three-peat, but she might, she, I'm sure she knows about her now. Yes. You know what? So Way to make yourself relevant, Tiffany. Okay, what's the nay? Okay, the nay. So, there's a social media nay, and it's not an Instagram post. Normally, I stalk people on Instagram, but this time, it's a Facebook Live nay. Shout which out to Facebook Live. Actually, no. Not shout out to Facebook Live, because they deleted our video. 
can you please save this one, Facebook? Oh, I really, really beg you. We want you. a video. We because really appreciate it. I genuinely feel so stupid repeating the same show for the second time because Facebook doesn't save our video. But we could do like a Facebook memory next year about it. Be like, remember that one time that we had to record a video twice in a day? I know, but do you know what I think? What? Here's me being all cute, like putting all my hopes into Facebook. Let's do a Facebook show. They're not even saving our show. Should we switch to YouTube? Oh, maybe. Facebook, beware. Anyway... What I'm going to say is the social media nay is a Facebook Live by some guy who decided it would be a good idea to steal Frances McDormand's Oscar statue, which, by the way, she won for Best Actress. Wow. And live stream with it saying, oh, I want this Oscar. Like, da, da, da. no. Did you think that people weren't going to realize that you stole it? Did you think that people weren't going to realize that you weren't on TV to go and collect your Oscar statue? <laughs> what are you doing? These are robbers of the world these days. They steal people's things and post it on social media. And a bit like the person who stole Lainey's phone, which basically, if you know Lainey, yeah. is basically like her Oscar statue. Bless her. <laughs> my phone is my Oscar. <laughs> It is my piece of work and someone stole it from me. And literally, like, this is what he did. Like, he didn't turn off my phone. He didn't take my credit card numbers or whatever you could take from the phone that I have. No, he decided this would be a good time to Instagram a selfie the of myself. Phone was unlocked. Because which I was doing a selfie of myself. The only person <laughs> who manages to get her phone sto stolen, unlocked. But when she does have her phone, she locks it because she forgets her password. That was a really bad story. Did we post about that in the we last week? We did last week. Okay, so go check out the first episode People to hear are going to get used story. to your phone drama. <laughs> but you can go ahead and tell them about this one. So basically, he stole my phone and did a selfie on my Instagram saying, I run LA. Beep. And what the... Bitch. Like, okay, whatever. I was trying to be like all PG about it, but you can say the bad words. Um, and then he did a selfie with the middle finger that had a nail polish on it. This color. <laughs> Red. And so then... He proceeded on to posting a photo of two people having a Starbucks with the caption, they lying. But it didn't end there. That dude got real creative. He was being and artsy, dude. He was being more artsy than the guy on his Facebook Live with an Oscar statue. He decided to repost that photo of people having Starbucks saying they lying, but this time with the Valencia filter. I literally, and I, the only reason I know that is because I had two versions of the photo saved on my phone, one in Valencia and one in normal. Hashtag aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, and I know, like, what the hell? Like, people are crazy. People are really, really crazy. But, but you know what? Comes out that to makes good up for a good story. Ah! This is why we're friends. This is why we're doing this, this in the best And that place. wasn't even planned. So maybe it's good that we have a second episode of the <sighs> second episode. I feel like we're boring everyone, but it's fine. You know what? We got to do what we got to do. <laughs> because we, just like Adam Rip, Ripon, Ripon, whatever his name is, we want to be relevant. I hope people can pronounce my name, though. It's Diana Espia. That is the hardest name. I, don't, I call you Diana half the time. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to call you, like... Wait, no. Your name is Elaine. I call you Elaine. You Lainey. call me Judge Elaine, so actually... Actually, her name's Judge Elaine. You know what? She may appear all nice in front of the camera. She's judging you. You. Anyway, carry on. Because I feel like we should talk about the after party. Okay, so the last part we want to talk about is just like other looks that we love from the after parties. The Vanity Fair had a really big party this year, and they always do. And, and the we weren't invited, so let's just so shout let's just out everyone out. <laughs> so let's just talk about the party we weren't invited to, which is pretty much like our Facebook Live show. We weren't invited to that party. We're just talking about all the stuff that we didn't attend. <laughs> okay, so Paris Jackson, which you can maybe see kind of here. Yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson's daughter. She was out of the public eye for a really long time. I feel like time. I really should do this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Just, like, did that not help? That looks way more ghetto, girl. But oh, that that's great. great. Okay. Look at that. Yes. Okay, so basically Paris Jackson, Michael Jackson's daughter, went to the Vanity Fair party. She's been out and about on red carpets a lot lately, and she is killing it. Like, actually, some of my favorite looks, and she's beautiful. That dress is stunning and really brings out her beautiful, beautiful eyes. I never realized how amazing she looks. Yeah. By the way... I would never get these tattoos, but I actually <laughs> am really, really into them. They're colorful. They're really cool. I would get them because they're rainbow. I have a critique. What's the critique? There's team? been close-ups of her arm tattoos. Yeah. And her arms were real hairy. That's really mean. It's the truth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks great. Now, can we see Pig? Paris, Paris as well. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Peg. You appreciate that close-up. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what? So, okay. Her hair. Her arms are hairy. No, no. They're they alone. Like, no, no, no. It was like beyond. It's like if you're going to make the effort to get all these tattoos and look that good to be photographed. Wax your arms. Wax your arms. Like, it's not mean. It's just like, it's like if you go on a first date. Go on a first date, brush your teeth. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like Is that the have. rule? For a first date? 
I mean, if you're if I you're expecting a, a kiss, life. you want to brush your teeth. Hello. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anymore. I, who knows? You know, armpit hairs are in right now. Who knows? Maybe we're just getting... Maybe we're old. We're too old for this. Let's give up. Okay. Like, I give up. Next no, look. let's not give up. I have to talk about my favorite look from the Vanity Fair party. Huge news. You can do a close-up of the photo right now. Okay, you, I do that Julianne one. Julianne Huff and her brand new... No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Brand new hair color. Wait till it focuses. Yep. It is gorgeous. It's red. It really brings out her beautiful blue eyes. I and love redheads. Let me, me just say, unbiasedly speaking, because I was a redhead. It looks better on her than it looked on you, but you look better as a blonde than she does. So That's here's rude. the reason why. Whatever. <laughs> but you'll get over it. Because I just told you you looked better as a blonde than the original blonde. So there you go. <laughs> um, so here's what I think about this. I really hate talking about it because it makes me sound like such a hater, which you are, I am, so. but it's fine. So I think that these gorgeous blondes like Margot Robbie, gorgeous, hashtag basic at the Oscars, but gorgeous, she's beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, basic, beautiful, Nicole Kidman, gorgeous, Julianne Huff, gorgeous. Yeah, but, but it's just basic. And I think that she really made the whole like blonde blue eyes look so much more interesting and so much cooler by dyeing her hair and it's not tacky it's, it's not, not it it's just good. gorgeous so yes please thank you julianne Huff. we love you okay julianne Huff, we love you Derek Huff, we love you i want to be on dancing with the stars i need to put that plug every week okay let's try that but do you want to talk about this really funny story that we were going to mention that we probably already did Wait, mention because this is the second time we're what was the show? story oh 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 Charlotte. our last yeah yeah see i've already forgotten okay so basically, let me set this up for you. We're on our way back from London last week. Again, watch last week's episode to see about our London stories. I'm putting that plug because I want everyone to see all of our episodes because they're such beautiful works of masters pieces. It's literally masterpieces. Anyway, so, put so much effort into this. Thing. Yeah. Okay, so basically, we're on the flight back and we weren't sitting together. So she's like, bye, girl. See you later. I'm sitting in my row, eating my, or drinking my wine by myself, drinking away my sorrows for I'm 12 hours. Then like, like having my Xanax. Yeah, like, see you later. And then I'm just like, whatever. And she comes to me. She goes, after like a week of bonding, I'm I'm like, I met my new best friend. I love you. Never leave and my like, side. And then she was like, oh my God, girl. I just met, met my new best friend. Do you want to meet her? Like, Hold up. I got a new best friend. I was like, what? She looks at me and she's like, I was so excited. And then and I bring so this girl rude. and then, no, it was really fun. But she was cool. No, no, she was cool. I was leading it up to like, I felt like I was ditched, but then we just added a new girl no, to our crew. No, then we just added some, yeah. Her name is Charlotte. So what, how? She's a beautiful English British rose. Lovely. So cute. Shout out she Charlotte. She was hilarious. She was like, I just bought myself a Chanel bag at the airport. Like was, what a boss. <laughs> she's so cool. Anyway, she was like, I'm coming to LA. My friend was nominated for an Oscar for best makeup. For the darkest hour. She just won a BAFTA like a day before in London. Just such a cool story. And so we're like, that's so cool. We know like someone who was nominated, nominated for an Oscar. But guess what? We know someone who knows someone who won an Oscar now because so they won. They won. So, so congratulations to Charlotte's friend. We don't know yeah. her name. Wait, I forgot her name. No, I don't know that's either. That's really rude. But that's fine. We'll ask Charlotte and like maybe put it in the comments later. 100%. But Charlotte was so cool. She was so fun. And it was so great to meet her. So anyway. It's really cool. So we know it. So maybe we should steal that Oscar and live stream it too. Oh my gosh, I wish I could. I actually have faux Oscars. But anyway. <laughs> um, wait, 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 question. Like, how are they going to travel back with that Oscar? Wait, can you not? I don't know, but like, she must put in her carry-on or something. Who, like, I would not check that in. I just thought about that. That's really what, like, I care. You take it with you. You take it with you. Like, are you carrying it in the airport? Yeah, you just, like, put it in a bag with, like, wrap paper. I don't know. Okay, just that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. We should ask. Okay, I'm anyway, okay. so we've done this twice. I think we've outstayed our welcome here on Facebook and uh, Facebook Live. If Facebook deletes this video, I'm, honestly, gonna I'm laugh. deleting the page. She's going to be deleting Fashionably Latte. We're going to be done with Fashionably Latte episode two. Anyway, and life. so can I ask you guys to please share this episode if you see it again, if it's the one that, that's actually being saved on Facebook. Make sure that people find out about the show. Be great. We'll give you a shout out. And also, if you leave us comments, we will answer. Actually, I no. will respond. Fine. Yeah, she, she will. She will respond to every single one of the comments because we're just nice people of the world like that. I am. I don't know about her. Um. So yeah, comment, share, and uh, hopefully we'll see you episode three. TBD, depending on how this one goes. Oh, please God, can you save this episode, Facebook? Bye, guys. Bye.